Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today you can see we are back building some weird builds. Now today's is a little different. And you're gonna see why. Because what I've got in store for you, well, someone suggested to me I should build a house which is not made out of cubes. So what this means is I can't use most of these blocks here. I can use stairs, I can use slabs, I can use walls, and that sort of thing. So I've really got to decide what I'm going to do, but I have done this stuff before. I have actually built houses using stairs, and it was because I was slightly uh, worse at building than I am now, but look at this uh, technique. Um, it does look quite nice, but um, it, it's, it, it would work for this build, I think. It's not going to make it look like the best build, but it is going to make it look like a good one. Now, well, a, well better than some of the previous ones on this series. Now, you might be thinking, why have I got a strip log there? I'm going to be replacing that. That was just so I could start it off. So there we go. We've got part of our wall. So we've got to get the structure right for the rest of it. So we're going to have a five block wall there. Uh, so we're going to have a five by five space inside. Now we've got to uh, extend this more. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Um, just, just going to be uh, a quick little bit on the side and then it's going to all go round over to this side. So now we've got to extend this wall a load because look at this uh, it, it looks okay I'm gonna add in a bit of trapdoors add in some trapdoors because uh, yeah that's gonna really spice it up so actually this is an interesting technique you might want to use this more like for floors because you can use it for floors if you put it in the right place um, but yeah um, it is a nice technique if you're just starting off building. It's a way to really quickly get your builds looking a lot nicer. So that has got that to the end of there. So now we're going to actually use some trapdoors. What we're going to do, we're just going to put them every so often on here. Uh, just so it gives us a bit more flatness to it. But also it looks a bit more worn out. Like this patches over certain bits because it's falling apart. So we've got this like that. Now that looks amazing actually. I think this will look really cool once it is finished. This may even actually look, uh, well, actually good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, here's some tips for you if you're just starting building or would like to improve building. Uh, don't uh, just stick to what those blocks are called. For example, if it's called stairs, use it for a roof, use it for a wall. If it's a wall, don't you don't necessarily need to use walls for walls. And you don't need to use trapdoors just for trapdoors. Trapdoors are really useful for furniture. Uh, they're also incredibly useful for spicing walls up. Uh, so that's a small little tip. Uh, so there we go, we've got that wall complete. Now this is starting to uh, look okay, but we've got to work out what we're going to have here. Now I have an idea, which is to put a type of wall, but what wall? Because I'm really not sure what will go well with this, because you see we've got uh, loads, well we've only got uh, one colour which sort of fits, but we need a contrasting colour which isn't too dark. Now what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking a bit of cobbled deep slate wall. That, I think that will work. I think that will work. I know it doesn't attach, but that doesn't really matter, I think. Uh, so there we go, we're going to attach that to there, and it's going to go up again. So just going to just, just gonna repeat this pattern. Okay guys, we have got that all the way around. Now we need to work out what we're going to do on the inside. You see, now it looks nice. It looks like an actual uh, nice flat wall. No, it's not really. On the inside, it, it, it matters what it looks like. 
So here's a sneaky little thing we're gonna do. I'm not sure if this counts, but we're gonna use straps like this. Though we're not gonna do it all the way around. We're gonna have these slabs round like this and then we are going what we're going to do is we're going to make it go down in there, just so that I can't just say this is going to be the floor because that wouldn't be interesting you know and that would sort of go against the whole point I'm using slabs just to do this you can't do double slabs that's one thing we had but uh, we've got to just quickly put these down in the middle now, the furniture in here is probably going to be quite easy. I never build furniture out of cubes, apart from when I use stripped logs. Uh, so, there we go, we've got the floor complete. We now need to do some furniture. We're going to get some spruce, because that's the same colour as the wall. I do recommend to do the furniture the same colour as the wall. That does usually help. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put um, a table in the middle. So I know that's a double slab, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to put it on. So what we're going to do is that. And then we're going to uh, put these on. Trapdoors on either side. Now what we're going to do for the table in the middle. Now this is going to be slightly harder because I don't usually do this. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to get uh, some fence. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to get a pressure plate. I don't want to do this, guys. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to. It's the only uh, suitable table I can really do. Uh, so now we've got to sort out where a bed's going to go, because I'm going to try and put a bed in this build. I'm just going to quickly do that, and then, oh gosh, I'm going to have to completely redo my design slightly. Uh, yeah, I'll do that, and hope this doesn't catch to any of Right, this is going to be hard. Uh, actually, is that there's a yeah, that is a trapdoor there, so we could get away with it just about because you wouldn't really see it. Um, yeah, I think we could try that. Although thinking about it, you wouldn't actually see it if it was like that, so that's fine. Now we've got to do this. Um, Round like so, and then like that. There we go. Now I've got to get some snow. Now you may be wondering why to use snow as pillows. You can put it at different levels. It's perfect for it. Um, so now we're going to put a red carpet on there, and now we're going to use uh, we're going to use some trapdoors to spice it up a bit. What we're going to do is we're going to give the effect that it's uh, pointing a different direction. Now that makes it look like it's going that way, which is good because it may, means it's not uh, on the grid as much, which makes it more interesting. So there we go, we have finished the furniture inside, now we've got to do the roof. Now for the roof I have a great idea and this will be very simple, uh, we're just going to go like this, also look quite nice, uh, so what we're going to do, go like this like that and then we're going to go like that in the center now we're gonna just make that pop out one so that we can uh, sort out that bit there uh, it's not going to look perfect but we're going to use some dark uh, oak stairs uh, to just fill that in like so there perfect that will yeah, that, that looks quite nice, um, I'd say. Uh, we might want to add some windows, actually. I'm going to try and do that after I've just finished the roof. We'll be right back. Okay, this is complete, except that I do want to add some windows quickly. So we're going to just pop that out. We're going to get some dark oak fence because... Uh, that looks nice. Uh, we're going to do that again. Again, we're just going to fill this wall with windows. There we go. There we go. We have some windows. We're going to do it uh, once over here because that will look nice. And this build, I think we can say, is almost complete. We need to do some light inside. 
do is sleep, we need some light. Uh, so we're going to get some lanterns. Because lanterns look nice, that's the reason. Ah, and they don't fit on the ceiling. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this nice technique I really like. Now, I could put torches on top of this, but I like the look of a lantern. It sort of gives it a different vibe, you know. So we're going to put that there. Now we have one more thing to do. We have the door, the front door. So we're going to get, I think we're going to get dark oak. That will look nice and grand. We're going to just put it there. Actually, we do want a doormat. So I'm going to find something quickly to do a doormat out of. We're going to do an andesite doormat. What's wrong with that? Um, there we go. And then we can do a clever technique, we're just going to um, do that, right there, yeah actually I didn't need to do that, there, there we go, that's it, that's actually quite interesting, uh, I'm just going to expand that around there, there we go, and now we're going to put the door in, uh, uh, you can't put doors on stairs, what, okay we're going to do that instead, there, that's it. <laughs> there we go, we have an interesting pattern at the front door as well. I think we can say this build is looking pretty good. What do you think? This is actually way different from the rest of the builds, so I'd like to see your opinions on it in the comments down below. So, well, yeah, if you look at the buildings over here, they're just weird blocks. This one, that one back there, looks normal. It looks like a normal build someone would build. So, yeah. Just tell me what you think. But anyway, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And if you'd like to see more of this series, please like and subscribe. And I will be back with another video uh, in possibly a week's time. Or maybe two weeks, it depends. <laughs> I don't really have a schedule. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye.